Hello, welcome back to our channel. I was called out by my friends, Josh and Ryan over at Clary Vision. They are doing this amazing series called Americans Try, where they have subscribers from the UK send over a bunch of goodies for them to try. And just last week, they tried to make honeycomb candy. I won't say they completely failed, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. <laughs> and Ryan, looking at you, Ryan, said, I bet Chrissy can make this. I'm not feeling that confident, Ryan. I'm glad that you think that highly of me. So I have Miss Molly here with me. We've got our ingredients measured out. So it is super simple. I've never had this before, so I'm excited to try it. So you need one cup of sugar, a third cup of light corn syrup, a third a cup of water, and two and a half teaspoons, that's little t, little s, little p period, <laughs> baking soda. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get yourself an eight by eight pan and line it with parchment. So let's go over to the stove. So in your saucepan, it needs to be a deep saucepan. You're gonna combine your water, your one cup of sugar, and your third a cup of corn syrup. So what you wanna do is stir those three ingredients till everything is combined and the sugar is dissolved. You want it to come to a boil. So you saw my mixture is starting to boil. This is where you're gonna need a candy thermometer. You want that mixture to get to 300 degrees. And once it gets to 300 degrees, it's still gonna be clear. Don't freak out, everything is right. At 300 degrees, remove it from the heat. Take it right off of that burner and stir in your baking soda. Also, don't freak out because it will bubble up. If you've watched Josh's video, you know once you add that baking soda, it gets a little scary. Don't freak out, it's normal. So then we're just gonna mix our baking soda in until it's all combined and it should turn golden. So mine has hit 300. I'm gonna put my baking soda in and stir it. So as you saw, when you pour that baking soda in, shit gets a little crazy. It foams up really quick. So you can see how light and fluffy mine looks. When you pour it in your pan, this is a tip that I read online, to get it to reach the corners, don't try to spread it with your spatula or a spoon because all it will do is just mess up the top and it won't look nice and smooth like this. I am feeling really great about this. Molly is eating it off of the spatula. Does it taste like a candy? What kind of, would you consider it? Sort of a honey candy, but like a caramel too. Like a caramel? So this is what it's just doing on the spatula. It's just, this is already hardened right up. Yeah, it totally is giving me caramel vibes. Oh, it tastes like um, that one candy comes on a stick. Rock candy? No, no, not rock candy. It comes on a stick. Sugar baby, sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> sugar daddy? I don't know. <laughs> Do you need a sugar daddy? <laughs> that is what it tastes like. Josh and Ryan, I am hoping that this turns out spectacular. If it does, I will mail you some. So it says once it's in your pan, let it cool one hour before breaking into pieces. You may be able to use your hands or whack it with a knife. <laughs> if you have anger problems, make yourself some honeycomb candy and get all your aggression out on that honeycomb. Ooh, it says if desired, dip or drizzle the honeycomb pieces with melted chocolate. Hold my honey. Oh, how does that sound? Good. I don't know if we're gonna do that for this video, 
but that sounds like it would be amazing. I'm so excited about this. So we're going to go make some dinner and I guess we'll see you back here in an hour. I'm going to need y'all to cross your fingers and your toes and your eyes for me because... Isn't it bad when you do double crosses though? I don't know, is it? Is it bad if I tell you to cross your fingers and your toes? I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's a 2021 thing. I don't know. No, but anything. I'll see you back here in an hour and we'll see how the honeycomb looks. We're back. You'll see she has different hair. We bleached her hair. Yep. <laughs> she loves it. So here is our honeycomb. It looks so far so good. So I'm going to just open the parchment paper and let's see. Let's see if we can break this open. There we go. Oh. All right, Josh and Ryan, how does it look? I think I may have over mixed it. So let's get a little piece off. It breaks apart so, so easy. It's beautiful. It is. I mean, as long as it tastes good, I would call it a win. It smells good. It smells amazing. It's got a nice shine to the top. It smells like roasted marshmallows. It does kind of smell like roasted marshmallows. <laughs> you can really taste that, like toasty, of the caramelly. Mm -hmm. I, I called Chris in here to see what he thinks. A brittle. It's good. So I don't think it's something that I would eat a lot of in one sitting. But as a sweet treat, I think it's good. What do you guys think? How'd it turn out? Look at the outside piece. So Josh and Ryan, what do you think? How'd your girl do? Never made this before or had it in my life. It's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. So there is my way to make honeycomb candy. And it's so satisfying to break it. I just wanted to say thank you to Josh and Ryan for calling me out for this because I, I think we had a lot of fun. Wasn't this fun to make? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna open up my own candy shop where I'm making taffies and honeycombs, but it was a lot of fun and I think everyone in our family will enjoy it. If you have not seen his video, I will share it in the description below. If you are not familiar with his channel, go subscribe. He cracks me up. You will love him as much as I do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.